container series, I want to show you how easy it is to put one of these canine sets in the ground. And we're going to use this tree here. The reason I picked this location just beyond this tree is an actual game trail that goes to a pond over here. We're on this two track and it goes from a field to a field. The coyotes, the bobcats, the foxes, the raccoons, everything in this area, the possums, the skunks, are using this two track between field to field as their travel way. Even if they come off of this dam breast out into here, we're right on target. The prevailing wind is, is not very, you know, it doesn't blow hard in here. There's just a little breeze and it heads right for that trail. So any bait lure that we have in the hole here is going to work for us if they're on that trail uh, coming out to this two track. But very simply, we're going to put it here. We're going to use this big tree as our backing. We're not going to get up extremely tight to this we have this little branch here uh weed that's sticking out that i'm gonna leave there and i'm just going to uh pull this grass out right there this is where i'm gonna put uh the dirt hole and i'm gonna build my bed right here uh it's very simple when you're putting in a dirt hole uh, you basically want to make this about the size of your trap um, I like eye appeal, but I want to also have a bed that I'm going to be able to pack my trap in there tight because we've talked about having uh, your trap bedded tightly as being one of the things that is going to help you be successful as a predator trapper. And you'll see once we get this dug out, that trap is going to fit in there nice and easy so that's that right there we're gonna chop that little bit of tree out and that's gonna be where we put our trap I'm going to just make my dirt hole I don't even need a, a, a trowel in this spot because it's uh, able to get down in there and that'll be my dirt hole right there way down in there I like that a lot. So that's going to be where we're going to put our bait. And they're going to work in here and uh, hopefully investigate. As I said, we're using the Duke 550 here. I love this trap for all of these canine situations. You're just getting it set and you're going to hear that click. That trap's now set, nice and level and we're ready to go with that we're using our ground talon stake and we're going to drive that in the ground right here and that's going to go down in there as far as we can get it down in to the swivel you're going to pull the stake out and then I just pull to set the stake and that's all you need to do. Now this trap, as I've said, we want to bed this properly and that's going to go down in there right now to where that's already tight pretty much, but we're going to pack around it as well. Now, as you can see in accordance to the dirt hole, we're back about eight, nine inches. I'm offset a little bit to the right. That bait is going to be down in that hole. They come up here. One other thing when I make my set, I want this trap below the surface of the ground. If you see, the surface of the ground here is about two to three inches higher than where my trap sits. I like that because I want that animal, when they come in here, they are creating momentum into the trap. They can't tender foot it as much when you make a flat set or level, it's gonna be level with the, the surrounding ground. I like it down in here to where they have to put some weight. And they put weight down in here, hit that pan, pan and the trap goes off and you're gonna have that animal. But there's the hole and then we have the trap here. And then all we're gonna do is just sift the dirt over it and sand and cover our trap. Any big impediments you see, just pull out of there. But that's exactly what you're gonna wanna do. And just sifting that over the trap. And once you do that, 
I like to find my trap pan then again, which is right there. And then I'm going to basically work the dirt around a little bit, make that flat. And we're just going to grab a little bit more. And then you're going to see what I do at the end to blend this set in. So once we have that done, I'm going to then take this surrounding needles and we're going to make this as natural as we can and that is our final set as far as our trap placement we have it bedded in the ground we have the stake in the ground and we have our dirt hole and that set is a really good set any predator coming by here now is going to investigate this if they don't work it the first night the second night let's say you come in and see a coyote track back here and they didn't dig it out or whatever as i've talked about before or will in this series don't feel you have to put more bait or you have to put more lure here because this animal that left this track knows that's there and they are going to come back so just keep it as natural as you can stay away from it and these animals are going to be in here coming back when they know it's there so if they don't work it the first time that doesn't matter they're still going to come back and we're going to put our mountain man bait which is our equal parts of prairie dog ground angus ground poultry and we're going to get a good piece of that on there down in the hole as i said i'm not uh, against using a little more bait i like to have a a lot of bait down in the hole we'll just jam that down in there crack that stick that's good and we made another set down there about 50 yards that we moved uh mountain man and our madness lure so we're just going to use uh, the bait here and then all i do is take some of these pine needles mix them up like a little mouse nest throw that in the hole move this around make it look like something dug and really quite honestly that set's good to go but as you can see we didn't spend a lot of time here you dig your bed you make sure that trap solid a little bit of bait in the hole blend it in it's staked appropriately for the coyotes and uh, this is a good working set and if you consistently put sets like this in the ground while you're out there you're going to consistently catch coyotes foxes bobcats you're going to catch a lot of predators with this type of set right here and it's really not a lot that goes into it so anybody out there that's looking to trap and and you're a beginner uh or even if you're you're somebody that's trapped a lot do something do something consistently if you like this set if you consistently put this set in the ground you're going to have consistent catches and uh as we always say you know you can extend your hunting season out in the outdoors by learning how to trap and you also ecologically and environmentally become the steward of your own land taking some of these critters out of your population but that's a finished canine set and about as easy as uh as easy as you can get to put it in the ground